The Congressional Black Caucus started Wednesday, September 28th and will continue through Saturday, October 1st at the Walter E. Washington Convention Center, where hundreds of people have had the opportunity to attend a variety of panels. We don't think anybody cares about our mental health. Every day you watch television, somebody's getting killed. That's trauma, trauma, trauma. Then you gotta go to work and code switch. That's trauma, that's, been, that's, that's weighing on your mental health. We spoke to audience members and panelists of the session named Black Men and Mental Health, Resilience and Wellness to Overcome Trauma to get what their key takeaways were from the day. It is critical for black men to have a safe, non-judgmental space to talk, um, for us to be very intentional about seeking culture sensitive support. I wish the others in the black community could have heard uh, five black men or six black men being vulnerable, open and sharing their mental health challenges, seeing that the black men in their lives can be just as vulnerable and that we want to talk, we want to share, but sometimes we just don't know how. You have to start with yourself. And I got that from everybody's response, and I agree with that. Because you have to start with yourself. It's the way you look at the world, it's the way you engage it, the way you navigate it, etc. And that's important. After two years of being a virtual event, the rooms of this D.C. Convention Center were filled with eager and attentive minds to hear a number of different topics from economic welfare to mental health within the black community. With Howard University News Vision, I'm Milexa Cardona.